You are forced to quit. You will not be able to resume playing unless you can repair the scratch in the disc. You will need to see the service of someone who is capable of fixing a scratch. A scratch doctor, if you will. You rang? That was a joke. Of course you didn't. I don't have a doorbell, remember? <laughs> Please, come in. And welcome to my apartment. I trust you'll find my voice is more palatable against this decor. I continue to be an excellent host. I'm expecting two more guests later. First one, and then another. Make yourself comfortable in the meantime. But don't touch the candy on the table. That is reserved for one of my guests. Now, let's have a look at this disc. Oh my. She really did a number on it, didn't she? It's virtually unplayable like this. What a shame. There are many moments trapped on this disc which you would have no doubt found to be quite exhilarating. But yes, I can fix it. It will take time, though. I estimate, by which I mean I am certain by way of omniscience, that when I am done, we will have reached just shy of the green circle on the card above. I am sure you have already presumed this mark represents the beginning of Act 6. The disc should be ready to run in time to witness the critical event, a confluence of thickly interwoven, inconcurrent circumstances which have been meticulously arranged by myself, influenced to a much lesser extent by you, and by an even more negligible degree, our heroes. The scratch will be healed in time to watch these heroes put into motion. Yes, the scratch itself. If you don't mind waiting here while I complete my repairs, I will tell the rest of the story. I will show you as well, as I recover data from the disc. But the visuals I supply will be nothing more than abbreviated snapshots, and my telling will be abridged. Immortality notwithstanding, I am not going to live forever, you know. 